So today we're going to talk about the power of asking. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm afraid to ask. If you are afraid at times, stay tuned for this one. So today we're going to talk about the power of asking, the power of asking for help. Many people don't ask for help. They don't ask for help because they feel like they're going to look dumb. But the reality of it is, is that when we don't ask for help, we can slow the process down. We can make mistakes. We can be actually hurting the productivity of our team. So we've got to learn how to ask for help. For some of us, it's hard. For me, I was raised with a family that never asked for help. My dad, very independent man, did everything himself. And my mother said it was easier to do things for herself than to ask for help. So that was kind of the whole mentality of my childhood. I didn't ask for help. Other people don't ask for help because they're afraid they'll look dumb. They're afraid that their teammates might think that they don't know everything. And the reality of it is we don't. So how can we encourage this whole process of asking for help, especially let's go with at work, right? So we've got to make it a safe place, a place where when people are stuck, they ask for help. You may say, well, I don't know if I'm even stuck. So I think as leaders and managers, we have to work with younger people and new hires and actually ask them those questions when we're doing a face-to-face. Tell me where you're stuck. Let them begin to talk about the process. Let this become part of your culture at work. Tell me where you're stuck. And then as a leader or a manager or a guide, say, where can I help? Where do you see me helping? I think if we can begin to get this culture of asking in the workplace, we're going to be much more productive. I just read where companies, I think tech companies are doing huddles. They're doing stand-ups where people every day get get out of their desk and actually come into a huddle, either a circle or they stand up and they talk about the challenges that they're having, what I did yesterday, what I'm working on today. And they have to ask for help because leaders are seeing the importance, the importance of sharing ideas, the importance of looking at each other as a resource. Personally, I had to learn this the hard way. You see, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I've been highly independent, really depending on myself. And it wasn't until I joined my first mastermind group that I learned the power of asking and receiving. So we ask and we receive help. I think the receiving was hard for me. It was easy for me to give help, but for me to actually receive help, I think it was a challenge. In this mastermind group, before the session, we all know the ropes. We all know what we have to talk about. And the first question that we each answer with each other is, what was I working on last month and how did it go? What am I working on this month and where do I need help? And it's in that hour and an hour and a half, each of us looks at each other as a resource and we help each other with where we're stuck. So I don't know about you, but I am learning how to ask for help and it's really helping my business. So take it, take a tip from me, go out there and ask. Hey guys, this is Karen McCullough with another lesson from the